Hello everyone, it's Asatya Games. Today I am going to show you how you can add tile map collision to your top down game with default without any coding. Let's get started. I have this project that you can download from the link I am going to leave to the comment section. Open the main collection. If you use Ctrl B to run the game, you can see we have a player that can move around, place animation and also a camera follows him but it can pass through the borders of the map so we don't want this happen to avoid this let's add a collision object and to object add a shape at 45 move it on the player Great. Now we need to add collision shape to our tile map as well. Right click, add component, collision object. Select the collision shape as map.tilemap. Set its type to static. If you select dynamic, physics engine will do the most of the job. So you don't need to use code with this. With kinematic, this is what usually is used with player collisions, but we won't be using here because it requires coding. Static is used for objects that cannot move, like our map. And trigger is basically a red 2D in Godot and collision shapes with is trigger enabled in Unity, I guess. Their main job isn't colliding, but detecting the collision objects enter or exit. Since this is a tile map, we are going to set it to static. Now we need to set tile maps layer to level. And we are going to collide with default and player. Let's check this here. And as you can see, we also have the level here. Now here, go to tile map. Let's go to the tile source. This is our tile source. It has no collision at all. I have my collision sprites here. These parts are where the player can run around and these parts will be going to the edge. If you make them too thin, player will be able to pass through. So make sure to have at least a few pixels, like four, five pixels. The player can't pass. I am going to use that sprite for my collision. As you can see, default creates the collision itself. Now we need to add a collision group. On the main collection, we set file maps layer group as level. So we also need to set the ID to level other, otherwise it's not going to detect it after you select the layer go and select the tiles you want to enable with the collision on that layer let's say you don't want this to be enabled select tile source and click it so it's going to be disabled now we have our level set Let's go to our main collection and try this with Ctrl B. Actually, it kind of works. As you can see, I can't go through them. But the problem is I can rotate around and there is also a small gravity. To avoid gravity, you may think, okay, I'm going, I am just going to set the mass to zero, but it's not going to work. So we need to go to project settings, physics and for the gravity, set it to zero. Also use fixed time step. Let's go to the main collection, select layers collision object and lock the rotation so a player won't be rotating around. Ctrl B for the last test. As you can see, we can go through the tile map.
This is not the best thing you can add collisions to your game, but it's fast and easy, so it may come in handy. Also, if you encounter a problem where you can't understand why this is happening, you can go to Game Project, Physics, and Enable Debug. And now if you play, you will be able to see the collision shapes and you can determine what is causing the problem. Then you can again disable it. And that is how you can add collision shape to your tile map and your player without any coding. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.